What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, I'll be running you guys through my top must have essentials to get your men's wear wardrobe up and running. I'll be going through these items based on my personal experience as a professional fashion designer working in the field over the last five years. These items have been selected specifically based on their timelessness, their overall versatility and stylistic appeal. Honestly, with so many different options out there, knowing which product categories to initially consider can be extremely daunting and confusing. So this episode is going to be quick and it's going to be direct and to the point. So buckle up, you guys are in for a good one. What's up design family and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports, fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. Number one on our list is a plain white PK button up. This is an interesting mix. Here, the button up is a non button color that if done right and if purchased correctly is gonna have a sturdy color that's gonna stay down. It's gonna give you a crisp and clean appearance. The white is just gonna make it extremely versatile. You can pair it with a ton of different colors and the basicness of it and the formality of it is gonna make it a perfect pairing for a nice jacket and trouser combination if you're wearing a suit. On the other hand, the PK aspect of it is gonna give it a little bit of warmth and a little bit of playfulness that's gonna make it a bit more casual and it's going to allow you to pair it with a nice straight cut pair of denim and overall, you're just gonna have a lot of versatility from this all-rounder. Number two is a nice and versatile leather dress shoe. There are a ton of different options out there and we've done a separate video in the past that I highly recommend you check out where I run you through my top five to get your collection up and running. But let's just say you're a bit more of a novice and you're just getting started, you have the budget for one, definitely go for a plain cap toe Oxford. This one is going to be laced up and if picked correctly, aka you need to choose it in the black color or a dark brown, you're going to be able to pair it with pretty much any type of suit, any color of suit and any texture of suit. On top of that, this is a type of shoe where because it's laced up, you're going to be able to achieve a much more tailored fit to your foot versus something like a loafer where it's more of an open construction. You're going to struggle a little bit more finding the right option for you and making sure that it stays on properly the entire day. So definitely go for a capital Oxford and as a bonus, go for one that offers a Goodyear welt sole construction. You're just going to get a lot more durability out of it. And in general, when you wear it, you're going to feel a lot more structured and well put together. Number three on our list, and this is suitable for as the months begin to get colder, is a tailored overcoat. I definitely recommend something that is at a knee length. This is just going to give you the most amount of coverage without sacrificing any usability or functionality or even flexibility. When it comes to the type of overcoat to pick, definitely sing, stick to a single breasted coat, especially when starting off. I know that there's a bunch of different overcoats that can get a bit more fancy, but stick to the basics. Also, stick to black or navy, you're just gonna get a lot more use out of it. And it's also a type of item that's very specific to the season. So bear in mind, this is an item that you're gonna wear a couple times a year, but because it is so timeless, it is so classic, you're going to be able to wear it season after season. So invest a little bit more upfront in a good quality constructed overcoat, one typically that's made out of an outer shell and an inner shell. When I mean outer shell, I mean a 100% wool construction on the outer shell, maybe a felt kind of finish on the surface. This is just gonna make it a bit more warm. It's just gonna give it a bit more of a classic winter look. On the inner lining, either go for a 100% cotton canvas or you try to go for a cashmere blend or a rayon viscose blend, depending on your budget. Number four on our list is a nice slim cut, straight cut pair of unwashed indigo jeans. And I definitely say this with a bit of a hesitation. When it comes to denim, make sure that you're going for the classics. Indigo is something that is so versatile in its color and its hue that's going to allow you to pair with a variety of different options. I definitely recommend avoiding things that are overly distressed or things that are overly washed that have a lot of ornamentations or graphics on them. Yes, those are trendy items, but they just make it so much more difficult to pair. And they're items that you definitely won't want to wear season after season. So 
when it comes to denim, stick to a nice medium indigo, no wash, a nice slim cut, straight cut. This is just gonna give you a sleek aesthetic that's gonna help you feel modern, but at the same time, it's not gonna look overly trendy and it's gonna continue to give you the functionality and the comfort as you wear it throughout the day. Number five on our list is going to be a classic medium navy single-breasted suit jacket, specifically with around a 10 centimeter peak lapel. So these are very specific recommendations and I'll run through each point one by one. When it comes to a single-breasted jacket, yes, there are a ton of double-breasted jackets that are out there and those are also great options. But as a starter jacket, I wouldn't recommend it. To get a great fit with a double-breasted jacket, you need to get it specifically bespoke or made to measure, and that's not an option for most men. You're going to have a lot more flexibility with a single breasted jacket in terms of the off the rack options. Secondly, a medium navy color. It's just gonna give you so much versatility and you're going to get a lot of wears out of that jacket. Also, I wouldn't recommend a super dark navy because that can err on the side of black. Definitely something that's a medium blue. It's just gonna give you a pop, but without sacrificing the versatility of the color. And then lastly, a peak lapel is a nice mix of classic timelessness, dominance, and at the same time, it's just going to give your suit that edge that needs to stand the test of time. Last, but definitely not least on this list, is going to be a knitted turtleneck or roll neck. So when it comes to classic menswear, you're going to have pretty much a classic standard of the suit jacket, the suit pant, and a button down or a button up. When it comes to adding a little bit more variety, a little bit of depth to your wardrobe, you can definitely consider integrating a knitted turtleneck. This can either come in a regular turtleneck, like sort of a high neck or a roll neck collar. Why I think this is super important is it just gives you a little bit more variety. And you can do this without sacrificing any of the classic timelessness of your wardrobe. So you have more options to choose from, you're a little bit more engaged, and you feel like you just have more tools in your arsenal to make a decision on what you'd like to wear and how you'd like to pair certain outfits together. And also, this is a great strategic option for winter months as it gets more cold, where a PK or a 100% cotton button up or button down is just not going to cut it. Well guys, that is it. That is a wrap on this episode. That's been my personal men's wear wardrobe recommendations, especially for beginners who are just looking to get into the space in terms of what you can consider. If you guys think that I missed anything specific on the list that you would personally recommend, let me know what you guys would sort of add or remove from the list. Also, if you guys want to see other episodes like this, we do a ton of different content on the channel. We do things that are a bit more technical, where we go through production techniques, manufacturing and logistics. And we also have a large playlist of menswear and sort of fashion style tips and tricks that I highly recommend you guys check out. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. We put out great content on a week to week basis and we'd mean or it would be the absolute world to us for you to join us along for the ride. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.